Have you ever felt a sudden urge to sing a particular song just out of the blue? This isn't merely a random occurrence. This is often a spiritual prompt, a divine nudge from the realm beyond our sight. You see, in this vast universe, we have certain individuals known as intercessors. These are the people who act as channels, bridging the gap between the divine and the earthly, often through the power of song. Now let's take a moment to travel back in time to a story from the ancient scriptures. We find ourselves in the presence of Jehoshaphat, a king, a warrior, but most importantly, an intercessor. This tale, etched in the pages of the second book of Chronicles, showcases the profound impact a song can have. Picture this, Jehoshaphat, standing on the precipice of a battle, the armies of Ammon, Moab and Mount Seir looming ominously. But instead of raising a sword, Jehoshaphat raises his voice in song. As the notes float into the air, something remarkable happens. At the very moment they began to sing and give praise, the Lord caused the armies to start fighting among themselves. Just like that, the power of a song transformed the course of the battle. But why a song? Why not a prayer, a plea or a proclamation? Well, there's something unique about a song, something that resonates within the spiritual realm. It's an act of surrender, of trust. It's an act of praise, an act of worship. It's a way to say, I may not know how, but I trust that you, God, do. And so we find that our songs, our praises, can be more than mere melodies. They can be powerful spiritual tools, just like they were for Jehoshaphat. They can be a way for the divine to step into our lives, to make a straight path in the wilderness, to lift up every valley and make every mountain low. So you see, our songs of praise can have a powerful impact, just like they did for Jehoshaphat. Now, when these divine prompts come, what do we do? Well, we yield, we yield to the divine instructions, just as Jehoshaphat did. Remember, it was at the very moment they began to sing and give praise that the Lord caused the armies of Ammon, Moab and Mount Seir to start fighting among themselves. Imagine that, the power of a song, the power of obedience to the divine instruction. Jehoshaphat didn't question, he didn't hesitate, he simply obeyed. And that's the crux of it all. It's not our place to understand how God will act, but to simply obey his instructions. As an intercessor, you may not always know the why or the how, but you do know the who. You know who gives the instructions, you know who has the power to make a way where there seemed to be no way. Our role is not to question or to probe, but to trust and obey. Our role is to yield to the divine instruction. It's no coincidence that you've found your way to our channel today. Perhaps there's a divine purpose waiting to unfold. Welcome to our family of intercessors, a community bound by faith, devotion, and the power of prayer. Now, you may be wondering, how can you be part of this mission? It's easier than you think. By subscribing to our channel, hitting the like button and leaving your thoughts in the comments, you're helping our community grow. Each like, each comment, each subscription helps our message reach more souls, taking us one step closer to building more intercessors worldwide. When the Spirit prompts us to sing, we sing. When we are prompted to pray, we pray. When we're prompted to praise, we praise. These moments of obedience become catalysts for divine intervention. They become the triggers for miracles and breakthroughs. They become the moments when the supernatural intersects with the natural. The realm of the spirit is a realm of obedience. It's a realm where our praises, our prayers, our songs are more than just words. They are divine tools. They are spiritual weapons. They are the means through which God manifests his power and glory. So let's learn from Jehoshaphat. Let's learn to yield, to obey, to trust. Let's learn to sing when we're prompted to sing, to pray when we're prompted to pray, to praise when we're prompted to praise. Because in the end, it's not about us, it's about him. It's about his will, his plan, his purpose. And as intercessors, we are simply vessels, conduits of his divine power and grace. When God says praise, we praise. When he says worship, we worship. But what happens when we yield to these divine instructions? The story of Jehoshaphat gives us a powerful example. In a moment of seemingly impossible odds, facing armies much greater than his own, Jehoshaphat didn't turn to his own strength. Instead, he turned to praise. He sang. His people sang. And the song wasn't just a distraction from their fear, it was their weapon, it was their prayer, and it was a prayer that God answered. 
At the very moment they began to sing and give praise, the Lord caused the armies of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir to start fighting among themselves. The armies that threatened Jehoshaphat destroyed each other, not because Jehoshaphat was a great warrior, but because he was a faithful praiser. His obedience to the divine instruction to sing and give praise paved the way for a miracle. So what does this mean for us? When we are moved by the Spirit to sing, to praise, to worship, we are not just expressing our love for God, we are also creating a pathway for God to move in our lives, for the divine to intersect with the ordinary, for miracles to occur. Just as Jehoshaphat's praise confused his enemies and led to his victory, our praise can invite God into our circumstances. It could be the key to unlocking a solution, a breakthrough, a miracle. In the spiritual realm, our praise can make a straight way for God, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, to step into our lives or the lives of others and do wonders. This is not a call to praise only when we feel like it or when things are going well. It's a call to praise, especially when things are hard, when the odds are against us, when the armies are at our doorstep. It's a call to praise because we know that God is with us and that our praise invites him to move in powerful ways. So our praise could be the very thing that invites God to step into our lives and work wonders. So, what's the role of an intercessor in all this? Well, let's delve into that. Imagine being a lighthouse in a storm, guiding lost ships back to safety. That's what an intercessor does. They stand in the gap, praying and worshipping on behalf of others, leading them closer to divine transformation. Just as a lighthouse doesn't question the stormy waves or the darkness, an intercessor doesn't question the circumstances or the method. They simply shine their light following the divine promptings. Now remember Jehoshaphat? This biblical figure is a fantastic example for intercessors. When he was prompted to sing and give praise, he didn't question it. He yielded to the divine instruction and the result was a miraculous victory. As intercessors, we can learn from his example. You see, when we yield to these divine nudges to sing a particular song or offer up a specific prayer, we're not just doing it for ourselves. We're doing it for those we're interceding for. Our act of obedience could very well be the key that unlocks a miracle in someone else's life. In the realm of the spirit, our praises and prayers could be creating a highway for God to step in and work wonders. Just like the voice crying in the wilderness in Isaiah 40, our intercession could be preparing the way of the Lord, making every valley raised up and every mountain made low. So, as intercessors, we have a unique and powerful role. We're not just bystanders in the spiritual realm, we're active participants. We're called to lead others in worship and praise, to stand in the gap for them, and to help pave the way for divine intervention. And remember, it's not about understanding the how or the why, it's about obedience. It's about yielding to the divine instructions, just as Jehoshaphat did. By doing so, we as intercessors can help pave the way for God's miracles in our lives and the lives of those around us. So let's embrace this call to intercession and let's see the wonders that follow.